Welcome back to Dogs, Dogs, and More Dogs here at the Cow Palace. All right, the winners are in for the Sporting Group. Coming in third place is the English Springer Spaniel. In second place, the Field Spaniel. And in first place, the Weimaraner. Congrats to the winners. Now let's check in with Justine, who's with the Hound Dogs. Cooper Hundaji. Quaker Hundaji. Where's Muldoon? There he is. <laughs> Where's the Bloodhound? There he is. Kooky Hound. Koi Ki Hun Dijit. Koiker Hun Kooky? I, I mean. Tussle standing up like this. She's about as tall as we are. She's about as tall as we are. Yep. The male is 7'4 when he stands up. 7'4? Yeah. That makes J.R. Stone look short. Koiki Hunji. I mean, I wore deodorant today, I swear. Quakey Hunji. Cougar dog. Cougar. Cougar town. Crazy hound. That's a cute dog, Justine. Now we're with the hound dogs. Mike, this is the Rhodesian Ridgeback, and I have to say, I'm going to be totally honest, this is one of my favorite dogs in the world because they hunted lions at one point, right? Yes. They for real, for real. For real, they hunt lions, but they hunt in a pack. Sure, but whatever. Oh. If you're hunting lions, you're legit. Oh yes, very tough dog, great dog, great personalities. And here you have the greyhound. Now is that greyhound just gonna take off sprinting? It's not gonna take off sprinting. The greyhound is a fast dog. They're the, one of the fastest dogs on a long distance, but a whippet is actually faster, which we'll see down in the competition here is faster in a short distance. This dog has some serious ears. Very serious there. This is an, uh, an Ibethan hound. Ibethan hounds come in two different coat categories. And this here is a, what they call the wire coat. And it's used to protect the animal from the different elements that they may come across when they're out in the wilderness. There's your bloodhound. There's your traditional bloodhound. With this breed here is their long ears. Is, what they do is they put their head down and they're actually, they hold the scent with their, with their ears. As they're dragging, when they tip their head down, their ears kind of acts as a funnel. So that when they sniff along, the ears works as a funnel to keep the scent in and it gives the dog the ability to really use their nose. And this is one of the, one of the scent hounds that we were talking about earlier, where the other, the previous dogs we've seen have been sight hounds. Who's this, is this, this your Whippet? This is a Whippet, correct. So this is a dog, like a Greyhound, can run well, but has more lateral agility? A little more lateral agility. They're a little lighter on their, a little lighter on their feet, but the thing is the Whippet can run very, very quickly. So the Whippet is a sprinter, the Greyhound is a distance runner. A long runner. distance runner, correct. All right. Just now this here is the track and field. I'm good. This here is a PVGV, which is a petite facet for fond verdine. Oh my gosh! And they call it PVGV for short. This dog can be a very strong contender tonight. Now we have. Now we have the beagle. Snoopy. Yes. Look at those gums. These guys like to howl. Yes. Trust me. They have good lungs. <laughs> yeah. It's a very important factor for these for the hound, especially the the scent hound, because when the hunter is hunting they rely on these dogs to bark and it's very important that they have good strong lungs so they can hear the dogs from far away because when you go out hunting with this breed they take off and then the hunter only can be able to follow them by their bark this looks like an irish setter but smaller yeah this is small this here is the long hair dachshund the dachshund it comes in three different coat varieties you have the long hair and then we'll have a smooth and a wire hair. Let's take a look now at some of the other dogs in the hound category.
We'll have the winners from the Hound Group, plus we'll see more adorable dogs with Justine. That's all when we come back on Dogs, Dogs, and More Dogs.